You're looking at the Ardennes forest and mountain area of Belgium. It's very rural. And it's here this weekend that you join us for the Grand Prix of Belgium. Hello, I'm Jackie Stewart. Since the last Grand Prix that we covered by ESPN, there's been a tragedy in the sport. Elio De Angelis, the young Italian driver, lost his life during a practice and testing accident in the south of France at the, po the Paul Ricard circuit. Sadly, he died two days after his crash. Now, perhaps I can say this better than most people. Racing drivers know the risks that they take. But remember one thing. They do what they want to do. They know the risks. And above all, a racing driver loves his sport. Elio De Angelis died doing the thing that he most loved to do. The Belgian Grand Prix has always been a dangerous racetrack. It's taken many lives, in fact. Where I'm standing right now is on the road of the normal streets here in Belgium. The Spa-Francorchamps circuit is very famous. 20 years ago to this very weekend, I had my biggest racing accident at this very corner. This is the master kink. I came around here in the pouring rain, the car aquaplaned or hydroplaned. I knocked down a telegraph pole just a little left of where I'm standing now, ran into a woodcutter's house and knocked it down. The redeveloped since then. And then I finally ended up on the lower area down there, trapped in my car. Graham Hill and Bob Bongerant had to borrow wrenches from a spectator's car to get me out the crippled car. It took more than 30 minutes for an ambulance to find me. Then I was taken back to the nerve center of the Belgium Grand Prix, to a medical unit it was called. In fact, it had no table in it. I was laid on the floor along with a lot of cigarette ends. I was finally taken to hospital after the police escort that was leading my ambulance lost its way. I tell you all of that because motor racing is clearly dangerous but things have improved considerably since 1966. Around this racetrack, you see many things that stood as they were at that time. Barbed wire around the racetrack instead of barriers. And that was just to keep the cows out. No protection at all for the spectators. There was very little safety in those days. But I am glad to report things, they are a-changing, and they have changed considerably. On the new sparse circuit, it's been cut out the mountainside, almost carved out. The surface is billiard table smooth, there are beautiful curbs. And then, to retard a car to begin with, there's gravel. And this gravel, in fact, is very deep indeed, very deep. You really sink into it. And of course, this does retard the progress of a car, much in the same way as at the end of an airport runway, if a jet overshoots, it gets into this gravel and really slows it down safely. And of course, there's a lot of runoff area here nowadays. Space is a great saver in the case of accidents. There are, of course, barriers and then tires in front of some of the barriers to soften the impact if impact occurs. And then chain link fencing is introduced. That retards the vehicle again, much in the same way as a tennis ball is slowed up by a tennis net. Above all, there is space. And when you're traveling at the speeds that these race cars do today, there's just no substitute for space. It is certainly a safer track. We'll be right back after this.